Are you guys excited to hear our first story? Yeah. All right. So, anything to say, Treasure, before we start? I would say this person is very inspiring. You may yep. have seen his or her photos floating around yeah. on social media. As soon as we play the video, I'm sure you're going to recognize this person. I know we really were compelled to bring him out and have him tell his story today. I agree. Uh, this gentleman's photo has been used by many, many people. And, uh, and he actually, we talked to him about that yesterday, and he really is um, humbled that so many people are using his story as an inspiration to others. So let's meet our first winner now. A little over a year ago, uh, July 1st, they started a competition. Yeah. But I mainly just done what would be considered the uh, control kit, the uh, T and the, the drops. That first month uh, during that competition, I, you know, I was hitting it pretty hard. I lost uh, 29 and a half pounds. I, I never would imagine I've, I could have stuck it out and done as well as I have this, you know, this year. It's just really surprised me. You know, the fact that I'm able to get around and move around and have as much energy as I have now and just, uh, uh, you know, have the strength you know, going to the gym and working out and, and uh, yeah, I, I don't want to go back to that. I don't want to go back to that at all. When I started with TLC, I weighed 315 pounds. I now weigh 210 pounds for a total weight loss of 105 pounds. My name is Jason Burdine. I'm from Indianapolis, Indiana, and I have made a total life change. Okay, guys. Just in case you didn't hear the end of that video, 105 pounds. Johnny, I think what's even more impressive is how quickly he was able to achieve that. Jason, why don't you tell us how fast you were able to lose 105 pounds? I lost... Uh... 100 pounds in nine and a half months is when I hit the 100 pound mark. Amazing, Jason. Amazing. So, Jason, um, you were telling us a little bit about yourself yesterday and something that kind of, um, I, I actually discussed this with you that I knew would resonate with a lot of people who are doing, you know, the same profession as you. Mm -hmm. Jason is a CDL driver. So... Um, you know, talk to us a little bit about that. What are the struggles of being a CDL driver and driving a truck and how does that impact your health yeah. Um, your diet, yep. your physical activity, right? So talk to us a little bit about that because I know that kind of is something that led to your weight gain or where you were before TLC. Yeah, as a truck driver, I, I you know, on the road, you know, quite a bit. I'm more of a city type of truck driver. I, I get to go home every night. I'm not on the road all the time. But, um, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, for lunch, you would grab fast food here and there. You know, it's easy, convenient to get in and out and uh, – you know, in time span, and, and but it's most of the time not real, real healthy on that. Uh, and uh, so, yeah, I just kind of, you know, bloomed up with the weight of that. You know, I'm, I'd have to move a lot of, you know, heavy stuff, and I could not felt like I was still strong enough to do all that. But and now that uh, I've lost 105 pounds, I don't have to carry that weight around. I can carry a whole lot more now. <laughs> <laughs> Physical. Yeah. Awesome. Trisha? Jason, why don't you tell everybody it was really interesting the way that you were introduced to the company and by who, and what inspired you to start with TLC? Uh, a friend of mine, Adam Hilton, uh, is uh, uh, he's a great guy, great guy. He's been a friend of mine for a long time, uh, also a CDL driver, going through a lot of the situations I was with the physical, uh, going through the physical deal. Uh, but uh, uh, there, uh, he... I talked talk to him some before I actually got started, you know, with the uh, the program in July of last year, and uh, and uh, you know he kept after me, whatever, you know, you need to, you know, try this out, try this out, and then and one thing is, is I hate tea. I never liked drinking tea, so that was one of my things. Like, man, I don't know if I can handle the tea. And he's like, oh, you can do it, you can do it. And I was like, well, all right. So I, I was able to chug the tea. I was able to start on that first on that July. I was like, woof. But it was, uh, uh, it was a competition uh, for that, that month of July. 
And uh, yeah, I lost 29 and a half pounds that first month. So I really, really, really tried to hit it hard to win that competition. But I came in seventh place. There's people who want, uh, lost a whole lot more on, in that competition. We want to know who the other six are because uh, we want to talk to them. I, I, I know one. I don't know. Okay. One. Yeah, let us know. <laughs> okay. Question for you. Um, we, we, we hear these transformation stories all the time. And, of course, 105 pounds is very obvious um, to see the difference. Congratulations on that. What else changed? What, what can you do now, um, even beyond physically, that you couldn't do before the weight loss? Yeah. Uh, I mean, like before the weight loss, uh, you know, I felt uh, you know, at my weight, I didn't like being uh, in enclosed places, in enclosed, you know, places like elevators or getting on an airplane or anything like that. I was like, no way. I wouldn't want to do it. My, my wife would tell you, no, I'm surprised you get on an airplane. But since I lost the weight, I don't know, you know, that, that fear of, uh, has went away from me. I was able to climb on that airplane Thursday morning and didn't have any problems. And come on, my wife was surprised. She thought I was going to be crying all the way out here. <laughs> well, but, but no, it, was, it, was, it really surprised me how, how, how well I'd done with that. So one of the things you talked about with your profession that you have to do as a CDL driver is pass a physical mm -hmm. every year. So it was really powerful. Can you tell everybody about mm -hmm the moment that you were in the doctor's office for your physical and kind of what transpired at okay. that point in time? Uh, in uh, October 2017, uh, I have to do a yearly physical because my, my blood pressure was high and I'm on blood pressure medicine. So every year I had to do a physical. Um, uh, 20, October 2017, I was having a really hard time passing my physical. Uh, actually, I, I had failed it, but I had a few days in between when my driver's license would expire because of that. Uh, so I had to go to my doctor real fast and then they doubled my, my blood pressure medicine and they put me on a, a even higher dose uh, or you know, higher powerful medicine uh, just to get my blood pressure down in, in a few days to get that uh, for me to pass. While I was there, uh, While I was there, uh, getting my, uh, uh, trying to pass, and I was in the doctor's office, I got a, a text from my dad that my cousin had had a heart attack. My cousin is a year younger than me and uh, had a heart attack. And uh, so, you know, that put a little extra stress, you know, I worry, you know, man, I need to do something about this. Uh, my, my, my cousin, uh, uh, he, he didn't, he wound up passing away from that. But, uh, uh, you know, so that really, you know, put a, you know, sparking me and my family's and my family, you know, got after me at that point then too. Uh, man, you need to start doing something to get better in your health. Um, so I did in July. Uh, uh, I, I know I started the weight loss program. By the time I went back to my next physical in October, um, uh, the 2018, I'd already lost like 50 or 60 pounds. I couldn't wait to get to the DOT physical at that point. And uh, so my blood pressure was pretty good then. Uh, I was still taking uh, some blood pressure medicine then, but uh, well, I haven't taken any since then. You want to keep going? I haven't taken any blood pressure since medicine since October 2018. And... Uh, my blood pressure, I took it right before I came out here, is like 134 over 68 or something like that, which is perfectly fine to pass without medicine. Thanks, Jason. Well, of course, your transformation is amazing, and of course, your family has been supportive, but there's always that one person that's just with you all the time that gets you through, I'm sure, all the tough points, and I know that you have a very special person that traveled with you here <laughs> this weekend. Yep. Why don't you introduce that person, and we can um, have her stand up. Okay. My wife, uh, Julie, has been an amazing help for me. I don't know that I could have done this alone without her. I don't know where in the world she's at. Where are you, so, Julie? There she is. Uh, way back here. <laughs> but uh, she, she has made this. I mean, she's worked so hard uh, to, to get me where I am and made uh, nutritious meals delicious is what I've always said. And uh, I never thought those two words would go together in the same sentence, but... It really does. She's done a great job of getting me where I am. Love it. That's great. 
So tell everybody, you talked a little bit before about some things that you can do now that you couldn't do. There was something that when we interviewed you previously, you sent us some photos and you said, I would love to go back to this moment. And I think you had the opportunity mm -hmm. to do that amongst some other things that you've done since you've <laughs> even been in Baltimore. So why don't you tell everybody what that okay. was? Uh, last May uh, 2018, we came to Washington, D.C., uh, to, you know, and, and uh, done the tours and stuff and took pictures. And uh, I think one of my pictures were up here earlier during the thing. Um, and uh, uh, I used one of those pictures as my, as my heavy picture uh, on my Facebook page. And to be able to come back, you know, basically a little over a year later and, and to try to redo that picture has was I was like man that's that's just you know such a great thing to be able to do I'm super happy and then Jason continues to send me photos yesterday yeah. saying I can do this the man is rock climbing yesterday <laughs> and something really funny that we found in your in your when we were speaking with you yesterday you said there was something that you used to be able to do in your job uh -oh. that was easier before and it's harder for you now yeah they, they'd ask me what I could do now that I couldn't do them well now there's things I can't do that I could do easily then as a as a truck driver some some people may or may not know when you go to warehouse or whatever they have uh, plates that go into your your truck and a lot of times they're spring loaded you pull a spring the thing pops up and goes right into your truck well to go down you have to walk out on them and push them down now that I've lost 100 pounds I have a hard time I jump up and down on some of them going to go down All right, Jason, so we're gonna let you sit and, um, and, and not yet, we're gonna let you sit in a second and, and you know uh, introduce the second winner, but real quick, the products that you used, of course, the tea you already talked about, what other products did you use along your journey? Resolution Drops, uh, that was my main two core all the way through. Uh, but yeah, NRG, I mean, I've, I don't even know how many I've, what was about eight or nine products that I've actually, you know, went through and tried, uh, uh, Life Drops, uh, NRG, I think you said that, uh, Nutriburst, I've, I've tried, tried some of them, and I got some new ones even this week. We're going to try when we get back home. We're going to be trying some new ones. Awesome. Okay. Thank you, Jason, for Thank telling you. the world your story. We appreciate you. Take a seat.